Hey, what's up guys? It's Big Tony here and today we're going to build this giant calcite castle. This video will be just for the exterior, but I'll be posting a second video for the interior design soon. Alright, so let's start by just going over some of the basics of this castle. So we're going to start by building up the base layout using cobblestone and dead coral, with polished andesite in the corners. And we'll build this up to the level of the ground inside the castle. Then up above we'll use polished diorite and calcite. And then after that we're just going to mix up the line between the white and the grey blocks like so. And if you're in survival you'll probably want to do that as you go. So the first step will be to build up the layout like you see here. Since everyone's landscape will be different we basically just want to have a flat surface to start off with so we can build from there. Before I put the measurements on the screen I just want to show you a couple of things. Like I mentioned before we're building up out of those grey blocks. And we'll make the ground inside level. Just this one wall will be made out of calcite since it makes up the inside of that pentagon building. So as you see there's two separate levels to the layout. The upper level will be exactly 5 blocks higher. Alright, so just go ahead and build up the layout now, following the instructions on the screen. Alright, so once you have your layout finished, you should have something that looks like this. And we're going to start by building up our front gate. So first of all, I need a stairway. You may or may not need a stairway, depending on your landscape, but I'll show you how to build it anyway. So we'll start with three stone blocks on each side, one block in from the polished andesite. Then we'll place polished andesite on top of that stone. And the polished andesite should end one block below ground level. Next we're going to use some placeholder blocks so we can place upside down stone brick stairs like so. So they should be one block out from the polished andesite and one block above. Next on top of those upside down stairs, we'll place stairs facing outwards from the staircase. So it should look like this. And now we're going to use a mixture of stone and stone brick stairs to make our actual stairway. And we'll just place this on top of that polished andesite. And also you might want to fill in that space inside or light it up so no mobs spawn. Alright, so there's our staircase, and now let's start building the gate. So as you see here, each side is kind of a 2x2, two two, and we're actually going to start on the back layer, away from the staircase. So we'll build up polished diorite 6 blocks high. And then connect it at the top. Then you can place a row of iron bars here for the gate. Next we're going to build up calcite around that polished diorite. So now that should be a total height of 7. On the outside layer next to the staircase, we'll place 5 polished diorite on each side. Then we'll place a diorite stair at the top. And 3 more polished diorite here. Then we'll surround all of this with our calcite. Next at the top, every other block will place polished diorite stairs, like so. Then place a full block on top. Then we'll place stairs in between those full blocks. Now on each side we'll just place two stairs like so. And on this side we'll repeat what we did on the front side. Next we're going to place stone slabs on top of the full blocks. And I'm also going to place slabs inside here just so that mobs don't spawn. Next we're just going to place some torches on the third block up on that polished diorite. And if you have invisible item frames and you want to make them look extra fancy, just place an item frame and then an anvil so it looks like a holder for the torch. Of course that's completely optional and I definitely wouldn't recommend it for survival. Alright next let's build up this section of wall right here, and this section back here. This part is super simple, we'll start by just building it up 2 blocks high with calcite. Then we'll place an extra block on top every other block. Next we'll just place stone slabs on top of all of this. So it should look like this, and then we're just going to mix up the grey blocks and the white blocks.
All right, that looks good. I'm also going to do the same thing over here for the gate. Now let's build up this wall in the same way. I prefer to have the taller blocks on the corners, but it doesn't really matter. Alright, and now let's mix this line up a bit again. Alright, so next let's build up this pentagon shape building on the left side. So let's start with this polished diorite in the corner and we'll build it up an additional 11. And we'll do the same thing on this corner. Now we'll fill it in with calcite up to that same level, so that's an additional 11 blocks. On the second and third levels we'll have some windows. So one block over from the corner, place two iron bars. Then we'll place two calcite and then another one by two window and then three calcite in a one by two window. And then you should have two more calcite blocks on the end. So I'll just go over that spacing again. Now we'll fill in three more levels on top. Then we'll have another round of the same windows. So on top of those top windows, there should be three more layers of calcite. And again, that's a total of 11. Alright, so next we're going to build some window boxes around these four windows right here. All the window boxes will be the same. We'll place one stair right underneath, then a stair facing the side on each side. Then we'll place two diorite walls on each side of the window. Place a stair facing inwards on each side. And then we'll place two slabs like so. So now we'll just repeat this on all four of the right side windows when you're facing the front of the castle. So if you want to, you can mix up that line right now, but I'll do it later. Let's move on to this back side with the angled sides. We're still building it up an additional 11. And this corner should just be an additional 6 since it's already 5 blocks higher. So now these back sides here will be all solid, there's no windows or anything. But we will have a doorway on the side facing the courtyard, so don't do that just yet. So just go ahead and fill in the calcite on those back sides. Alright, so on the side that faces the courtyard, we'll start with some double doors. Then we want this doorway to be four blocks high, so let's place some trap doors on top. Then we're also going to have a double door right here, on this upper part of the courtyard. So it's one block away from the polished diorite. And we're going to place two upside down stairs above those doors. Now let's just start filling in that calcite. Alright, next let's build an archway around this main door. So we're going to start by building up 6 blocks of polished diorite on each side. Place an upside down stair at the top, and then 2 full blocks in the center above. Then we'll surround this with calcite and go 2 blocks above. So it should look like this. Then we're going to place upside down polished diorite stairs like so, so there's a two block gap in the center. And this is one block below the top. Then we'll place full polished diorite blocks on top of those stairs. In these two gaps we'll place upside down stairs. Then in the center gap we'll place two upside down stairs but facing towards the outside, so it should form an arch like this. Next place a stone slab on each side. 
Then in the center, we'll place two stone stairs facing each other like so. Then we're just going to go with alternating directions of stone stairs, so it should look like this. Then let's add some torches on the third block up on each side. Next we're going to make some crenellations at the top of the walls. And these will basically be the same that we did for the gate, so start by placing upside down polished diorite stairs every other block. Then place full blocks on top. Then we'll place right side up stairs in between. And then stone slabs on top of those full blocks. So go ahead and repeat this for all the flat sides. The diagonal sides will be a little bit different. Alright, now for the diagonal sides, we'll start off the same by placing the stairs every other block. Then again, we'll place the full blocks on top. Then we'll place the stairs next to the full blocks, but as you can see, there's some little gaps here. So basically, we'll just place an extra full block like so, and then we'll place the stairs in between. So go ahead and place an extra full block on each of these. And then the stairs in between. And then we'll just place the stone slabs on the outside full blocks. Alright, next I'm just going to go around and mix up the line between the white and the gray blocks. Alright, so for the roof we're going to use the new mangrove planks. We'll start with a row of slabs going around, so it should be just below the polished diorite. And don't skip the corners, so it should look like this. Then after the slabs, we'll go around with full blocks, then more slabs, and you probably get the idea. Alright, so this is what our roof should look like when it's completed. Alright, next let's start working on the path for our courtyard. So we'll basically just connect the pentagon building with the gate and the stairway. And it's going to be made out of a mixture of stone and stone bricks. So it'll start off five blocks wide here at the gate, we'll just go straight. Then from the pentagon building, it'll be four blocks wide. I'll just place some stone and stone bricks under that doorway. And this one will also be straight until it connects with the one from the gate. Now for the stairway, let's go ahead and start by just placing our stairs in there. Again, it's half stone, half stone bricks. Now from the stairway, we're going to kind of go diagonally, like so. So that it'll meet at the same spot as those other two paths. This one will be about five blocks wide. So it should look something like this. It doesn't have to be exact. Now we're just going to fill this all in with a mix of stone and stone bricks. Alright, now on this left side of the path that's leading to the Pentagon building, we're going to make some little spruce trees. So we'll have three trees with three blocks of space in between them. 
and we'll do the same thing on the other side. So there'll be six trees in total. Now for these trees, just build the logs up three to five blocks high. It's better if you make each one a little bit different. Then we're gonna add like two or three leaves on each side and like three or four on the top. Just try to mix it up for each tree so that it looks natural. Then let's just add some bone meal or other flowers or plants that you want around the base. In this corner over here we're going to have a big oak tree so I'll start by growing a natural one. So I'll just place that sapling then place some stone blocks next to it and then bone meal the sapling. There we go. Then I'm going to use some spruce stairs and slabs to add some roots. Then I'm going to mess around with the shape using leaves just to make something more natural looking. And again I'll use some spruce stuff to make some branches. I'll make a branch here out of spruce fences. Then I'll add a lantern hanging from it. Then I'll just add some more leaves to make this look more natural. Alright, that looks pretty good, and now let's just add some bone meal on the ground. Now our lower courtyard is finished. Alright, next let's start building up this building on the right side, it's kind of an L shape. So first of all, this corner should actually be polished andesite. Then from there we'll build up 10 blocks of polished diorite in the corner. And we'll do the same thing in this corner. And this corner. We'll skip these towers. And then this square tower in the corner should be 13 blocks high, so that's 3 blocks higher than the main building. And we'll build up all 3 corners of that tower. These 2 other towers are circular, so there will be no corners there. Okay, so for this wall that's next to the staircase, we'll build it up to the same height as those corners. Fill in the first four layers with calcite, then we'll have some windows, and you can also fill in the top four layers. So we'll place a 1x2 window and there should be three blocks of calcite in between that and the corner. And this should actually be one block higher. So there's five blocks of solid calcite before the windows, 
and there should be three blocks of calcite on top. So from this window, place three blocks of calcite and then another window. Then we'll fill in the rest with calcite. Now we're gonna make the same window boxes that we did on that Pentagon building. For this wall that faces towards the front gate, we'll just build it all up, no windows. Then we'll finish the whole square of this tower after those walls. And we'll use polished iodide at the top and fill in the rest with calcite. Now for these two sides that face the outside of the castle, we're going to have some windows. So we'll start with one layer of calcite at the top and then a 1x2 window. So it should look like this. Then we'll have two layers of calcite below that window and another window. And again, we'll have two more layers of calcite below that and then another window. So there should be one block of space at the bottom of this window, so it should look like this. And starting on the third block from the top, on this wall, let's actually make two windows. So for this side of the tower, we're gonna do the same windows that we did on the other side. I'm just gonna skip the bottom window because there's some trees in the way. Alright, so for this big wall that faces the right side of the castle, we're just going to build it all up out of calcite. There won't be any windows, but we will have a doorway that we'll mark out later. Alright, so that's all built up 10 blocks. Then on the 3rd, 4th, and 5th blocks from the top, we'll break out a 3x3 of calcite. That should be right in the center of the side, and then we'll place stairs in the top corners. On these blocks that stick out, we'll place an additional 4 blocks of calcite. Then we'll place stairs at the top and side. Then we'll place another row of calcite at the top. So that should be right below the doorway. And we actually want to have one more layer of calcite below this top layer. And then we'll place the stairs underneath. So it should look like this. Now let's place upside down stairs every other block along the top of this calcite. Then place full blocks on top of those stairs. Then place stairs in between the full blocks. And then we'll place stone slabs on top of those full blocks. Alright, next for this corner tower, we're going to build it up to 13 blocks high, just like that one. And this one's basically a 5x5 five five square, but with the corners missing. And we're going to do the same window pattern that we did on that other tower. So it's 1x2 windows with 2 blocks of space in between, and 1 block of space at the bottom. and then two blocks of space at the top. We'll do those windows for these two outside walls. Once you're above these 10 block high walls, we'll fill in the rest of the tower. And this wall will fill into 10 blocks high. There's actually not supposed to be any doorway here, so you'll see me filling this in later. So just go ahead and fill this all into 10 blocks high.
Now for this corner tower that's towards the inside of the castle, it's the same as that other one, it's a 5x5 five five with the corners missing, but this time we're going to build it up to 17 blocks high. So that's 7 on top of the 10 block high walls, and it's 4 blocks higher than those other towers. And again we'll fill in the entire tower above those 10 block high walls. Let's fill in this wall to 10 blocks high. Now for this wall, let's just leave a gap for the door. We'll place some stone there and then the spruce door. Place a stair above the door and then we'll fill in the rest with calcite. Go ahead and fill in these top two layers. And then on the third and fourth layer from the top, we'll place a door. So it should look like this. Then we'll build up calcite with three blocks of space in between up to that door. Two blocks below the door, we'll place two upside down stairs. Then fill in these two layers with calcite. Then we'll place upside down stairs every third block with a full block on top. Then two normal stairs. And place your stone slabs on top of those full blocks. Alright, so I think that's it for the walls for this building. Now let's start building our crenellations, which are the exact same that we've been doing. So just start with your stairs every other block. Then full blocks on top. Stairs in between, and then the stone slabs on top of the full blocks. Go ahead and do this all the way around the building. For corners like this, we'll just place a full block in there. Alright, and now let's get started on our roof. And again, it's the exact same roof that we did for the Pentagon building. So we'll start with slabs going all the way around, just skipping those towers. Then we'll go around with full blocks, and again, you're just going up by a slab each time. Alright, and there's our roof. Now let's start working on these towers. For the most part, everything is the exact same for the roof of these towers. The circular towers are just a bit different. Now for the circular towers, we'll place two upside down stairs on each side. Skip the corners for now. Then we'll place our full blocks on top of those upside down stairs, and we're also going to place full blocks in the corners like so. Then we'll place stairs in these gaps. And then we're just going to place two stone slabs on each side on those full blocks. So skip the corners. Then for our roof, we'll place three slabs on each side, then full planks, and then one slab at the top. Now in this tall tower, we're going to make one 1x2 one window right here. We'll do it on these two sides that face towards the L-shaped building. And then the roof will be the exact same as that other circular tower. Next, let's just add some torches next to this door. And then let's build up these walls of the upper courtyard. Again, it's just two levels of calcite. 
Then on the third level, we'll place calcite every other block, and then stone slabs on top of everything. Alright, and now I'm going to go around and mix in the white and the gray blocks all around of what we built. Okay, so next let's build this small circular tower on the left side. So I'm just going to take a stone brick and place it under a spruce door. Then we'll place a stair above that spruce door. Then with two blocks of calcite, we'll have a 1x2 window, and we'll build up the calcite around that. Then we'll go an additional two blocks above that window. So there should be a total height of 9 blocks. Now let's build up the remaining sides with calcite to 9 blocks high. And here, two blocks below the top, I'll add another 1x2 window. Now the roof will be the same as those other circular towers. Now for these connecting walls on either side of the tower, we'll just do the exact same walls that we've been doing. Now let's go ahead and mix up the white and gray blocks. Alright, now we're ready to work on the main part of our castle. So let's start with polished diorite in the corners, and we're going to build this up by 14 blocks. I'm just making sure I counted right here. Now in this door gap, let's place down a stone brick and then a spruce door on it. Then I'm going to place an extra spruce trap door to make that three blocks high. Let's place a stair above that trap door and then fill in our calcite. Okay, so one block away from the door on either side, let's build up calcite six blocks high. And let's build up the calcite on this wall six blocks high as well. One block below the top, place two upside down stairs like so, and place three more calcite. Now let's make some crenellations using stairs, then full blocks on top, then stairs in these gaps. And then we'll place our stone slabs on those full blocks. Now here we're going to have a three block wide archway. Then on the fourth block up, let's place two upside down stairs to make it an arch. And place one layer of calcite on top. Then we're going to have three one by one windows like so. And then there should be two more layers of calcite on top. Then let's place iron bars in those windows. So 
this tower right here should be identical to the one on the other side. So we'll build it up 17 blocks high. Then let's add some windows on this side. So skip two blocks and break out a one by two. Then we'll just make a one by two with two blocks of space in between each one. On this side that faces the left side of the castle, we're gonna do the same windows but with one extra at the bottom. Now let's just go ahead and build these walls up to 14 blocks high. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and stick a roof on this tower. Again, it's the exact same as the one on the other side. Alright, so this square tower here will be the highest point of our whole castle. Let's start by just making a doorway here. Then we're going to build it up starting with the corners and we're going to build it up a total of 26 blocks. Then let's mark out some windows so we'll have two layers of calcite at the top. Then we're going to have two 1x3 windows and there will be two blocks of space in between them. Then we can just fill in the rest. Now for the left and the right side, we're going to have the exact same two 1x3 windows as we did on the front side. And now for this back side, we're going to have windows going up the entire length of the wall. So we'll have one layer of calcite at the bottom, and then two layers at the top. And again, these are 1x3 windows with two blocks of space in between each one. Now let's go ahead and add the roof, starting with our crenellations. So a three upside down stairs on each side. Place full blocks on those upside down stairs. Then stairs in the gaps. And then we'll place our stone slabs on the full blocks. Then we'll just do the same mangrove plank roof that we've been doing. Let's go ahead and build this wall right here up to 14 blocks high, just like on those front walls.
All right, so this little section of wall right here, we'll just have our two high wall. And this little building right here will just be eight blocks high. So we have two layers of calcite at the top. Then we're gonna have some one by three windows. Just two of them like so. For this wall, we're gonna have a little archway here. So it'll be three blocks wide and then on the fourth block up, we'll place two upside down stairs. Then on the third level from the top, we'll have some windows. So I have three one by one windows with one block of space in between each one. I'll just place some bars in there. Let's build this corner up to eight blocks high and then we'll just connect these at the top. Build this side up to eight blocks high. Same with this back side. And again, we're gonna have some one by three windows on the same levels. This time we're gonna have three of them with two blocks of space in between. And then fill in the rest with calcite. For this wall right here, we'll build it up to 14. Go over a little archway here, same as we did before. And like I mentioned before, there actually shouldn't be an archway here. So I'll just fill this in with calcite. So we're building this up to 14. Then here we'll start building this up with calcite to 14. And I'll just place a door in this opening. And an upside down stair on top. Then on top of this eight block tall building, we're just gonna finish this rectangle. And we're building it all up to the same height. Now this back here is just a little balcony, so we're going to place the crenellations right on the top here. Now here I'm basically just going to mix in some of the white blocks, calcite and polished diorite right up to the edge. And then let's go ahead and mix up this line for all the new stuff that we built. Alright, so now we'll stick a roof on this thing and at this point you probably already know what to do.
Okay, so now that a roof is in place, I'm just going to add a few more windows. Let's start on this small tower here. Since the walls aren't actually blocking, I'm just going to add an extra 1x2 window on each side. Then on this back side, we'll add some 1x2 windows. Let's add 3 of them with 2 blocks of space in between. Oh, and let's stick a roof on this small building here. Alright, now let's add some windows on this wall here. We'll just add three 1x2s with one block of space in between. And I think we're all good on windows now. Let's go ahead and decorate this main courtyard here. So again, for our paths we're using a mix of stone and stone bricks. Let's start with a five block wide path from the stairway to this doorway here. Alright, so going out from here we'll have a 5 block wide path, but let's just build it out a few blocks for now. Just kind of go around until the center of the courtyard. From this small tower we'll have a 3 block wide path. So let's just dig that out until it meets a 5 block wide one. So let's expand this so that there's just 2 blocks of 3 block wide path and the rest is 5 blocks wide. So this is what we should have now. Then let's build a 3 block wide pathway going to this main entrance. And directly in line with that we'll have a 3 block wide pathway going out here. We'll stop at one block short and then turn it towards these doors. I'm actually going to change this to be stone under the doors. So now let's fill in these pathways with stone and stone bricks. Alright, so now here we're going to have like a circular area for a well. Let's start by just replacing one block in each corner with stone. Then we'll place two more around there. So this is what it should look like now. So now let's build a well in the center of this area. So right in the center where all these doorways line up, we'll place three stone brick walls. Then an iron bar on top. Then one block away, we'll place a chiseled stone brick with a stone brick slab on top. And you can also use mossy stone bricks or cracked stone bricks. Then we'll place a stone brick stair on each side of those chiseled stone bricks. And again, you can also use mossy stone bricks. Alright, and now we're going to place some water on top of this iron bar. So you might need a placeholder block to be able to place that water on top. And then you can replace your iron bar. Alright, so that's our well and our pathways. Now let's do some decorating. Okay, so now we basically have four sections of grass, and we're going to place oak leaves around the edges like so. So once you have your leaves in place, we're then going to grow some tall grass using bone meal. And then we're going to do the same thing for all four sections of grass. So just place leaves around the edges and then bone meal inside.
Okay, so next let's add some torches on each doorway. Let's go around to these back courtyards and add some torches. And for these courtyards, we're going to decorate them as part of the interior video, so stay tuned for that. And for this area here, I'm just going to fill in the floor using a mixture of stone and stone bricks. And so that's it for the exterior of this build. Now I'm just going to fly around the whole place in case you need to see anything again. And I'll be working on an interior video soon. If you're watching this in the future, it might already be out. But we'll be decorating the inside as well as some of those courtyards.